Welcome to Hawk Class. Today we present a new story about one of the artistic topics from the history of art. Let's enjoy together one of history of art class. In 1805, Muhammad Ali possessed the title of governor of Egypt. But beyond the walls of Cairo his authority was everywhere disputed by the forces of the Mamluk Beys, who were joined by the army of the Siladar of Hershad Ahmed Pasha, as well as many Albanians who had deserted from his ranks. A plan was soon conceived to destroy the Mamluk Bay's encamp north of Cairo. On August 17, 1805, they were informed that the dam of the Canal of Cairo was to be cut. And some chiefs of Muhammad Ali's party wrote to the Mamluks, informing them that the Pasha would go there early that morning with most of his troops to witness the ceremony. Thus presenting the Mamluks with an opportunity to enter and seize the city. The dam, however, had been cut early in the preceding night, without any ceremony, and Muhammad Ali Pasha's forces were positioned to ambush the Mamluks. On the following morning, the Mamluk Bays, at the head of sizable forces, broke open the gate of the suburb Al Husaynia and gained admittance into the city from the north through the gate called Bab al futtab They marched along the principal street for some distance. At the mosque called the Ashrafia they separated one party proceeding to the Al-Azhar Mosque in the houses of certain sheikhs, and the other continuing along the main street and through the gate called Babs Uela, where they turned up towards the Cairo Citadel. Here they were fired upon from the surrounding houses by forces loyal to Muhammad Ali Pasha, which was a prelude to a massacre of the ambushed Mamluks. Falling back towards their companions, the Mamluks found the side streets blocked. And in that part of the main thoroughfare called Bin al Qasrain, they were caught between two fires. Thus, shut up in a narrow street. Some sought refuge in the collegiate mosque Barakukya, while the remainder fought their way through the encircling cordon, abandoned their horses, and escaped over the city wall on foot.
a horrible fate awaited those who had shut themselves up in the Barakukia. Having begged for quarter first and surrendered, they were immediately stripped nearly naked, and about 50 were slaughtered on the spot, while about the same number were dragged away. The wretched captives were then chained and left in the court of the Pasha's house. And on the following morning, the heads of their comrades who had perished the day before were skinned and stuffed with straw before their eyes. كان محمد علي صاحب مشروع كبير لإصلاح مصر والنهضة بها كما اتسمت فترة حكمه بسياسة انفتاحية تجاه أوروبا خاصة فرنسا ورغم كل ذلك فقد ركز عديد من فناني أوروبا على هذه المذبحة باعتبارها مظهرا بالمظاهر الوحشية التي ترسخت في أذهانهم عن الحاكم الشرقي هورس فيرني كان أحد المصورين الذين جسدوا هذه الحادثة في أكثر من لوحة هامة جاء بعضها ليركز على مزيج من السلطة والسعدية التي تتبدى في نظرات محمد علي بينما يراقب ضحايا صورة طالما تكررت ضمن مفاهيم استشراقية تقليدية حول الإنسان الشرقي ولا زالت تمثل حاجزا يحول دون استيعاب آخر وتعايش الثقافة المختلفة